Welcome to TCS, this is our showroom introduction. We've got a UK supplied uh, facelift Grand Cherokee. Uh, these things were 55,000 pounds when it was new. I've just checked this morning and the list price on a new one now is 85,000 pounds. So this one is a 2016 Jeep Grand Cherokee, three litre CRD Summit Plus with an eight speed ZF gearbox. It's all wheel drive. It's a Euro 6, which is ULEV compliant. Uh, we're Garnet Red Metallic, which is code QRV. Uh, we've got brown leather, which I love. Uh, 57,000 miles. Uh, great spec on this car. I'll just go from some, some quick stats. So we've got AdBlue technology, uh, hence you'll be allowed into central London. Uh, we've got 247 brake horsepower, although it does feel more than that. Uh, 570 newton meters of torque. And this engine will be the same as a Dodge Ram with the three litre eco diesel. And the Maserati Levante. And I'm sure some other vehicles. A uh, piece of trim at the bottom of the bumper yet to be painted and the chrome strip is on order from Italy from uh, Chrysler Jeep head office. Uh, we've got 0 to 60 8.2 seconds, uh, top speed 126, uh, combined fuel consumption is 40.4 miles per gallon. Uh, it's saying almost 600 miles to a tank on the dash, which, uh, which is very good, better than the Range Rovers we run. Uh, road fund license 320 a year. Uh, weight is 2.3 metric ton and we can tow 3,500 kilograms with a braked trailer uh, which is the maximum so uh, great towing car so we've got a panoramic glass sunroof with blinds we've got privacy glass from B post and rear we've got GPS navigation in colour uh, an 8.4 you connect which is a Chrysler Dodge Jeep uh, system also used in the Maseratis uh, we've got adaptive cruise control uh, so we've got the what looks like a siren underneath the front number plate that is the radar for the active cruise control we've got blind spot monitoring which uh, when you're trying to uh, change lanes you flash up on the triangle there just at the top of the mirror uh, that will flash to reward you as a car next to you. We've got a uh, Harman Kardon sound system, the best one with a subwoofer, very good sound system in these cars. We've got heated and chilled front seats and we've got heated rear seats and heated steering wheel. We've got power towel gate, keyless entry and keyless start. Uh, we've got AM, FM, multiplay CD, auxiliary, Bluetooth streaming and DAB. We've got 20 inch alloys with gloss black, in sorry, in gloss black. And we've also on this one got a new set of general grabbers, which look very chunky and very Jeep like. Um, they're not noisy, I thought they would be. I'm quite impressed with these. Um, sport suspension, air suspension, front and rear park, uh, park control with reverse camera. Uh, we've got by Xenons, climate control, cruise control. Uh, automatic um, uh, power seats uh, with driver's memory, electric folding mirrors, electric a limited slip diff rear axle, uh, electric steering column. We've got a tow bar with single electrics, as we can see there. A piece of chrome trim is on its way. Um, we've got um, self-leveling rear suspension via the air suspension. Last service was done at Jeep, June 23 at 56,677, so 300 odd miles ago. Uh, we've got full service history, MOT is June 24. We've got HPI and Experian check clearance. We've got both the remote keys and we've got full book pack. So let's now go in the interior. Before we do that, I've opened the pan roof. Uh, so you've got uh, slides right back and you've got electric blinds as well try and uh, dampen down the heat so as I say brown leather interior I see a lot of black leather in cars so anything other than black excites me uh, and so I'm excited because it's brown and typical American car everything's brown the steering wheel the dash carpets they just don't know where to stop bless them so we've got electric seats there 
This is the top of the range Summit model. So uh, Summit badges on the uh, logos on the seats. Uh, we've got the later style gearbox control and the later Uconnect 8.4. And we've got suede headlining, or it's probably Alcantara, not suede. Suede's quite rare nowadays. Uh, we've got the Harman Kardon sound system with subwoofer. Rear seats. Jeep rubber mats all round. All in great condition. There's no damage, no rips, no tears. Good retail car. Uh, in here, oh, can't open that without pushing the button. Let's push a button. So that's the fuel there. Got auto lights, auto wipers. Okay, we're open now. So we are capless. So just stick the fuel nozzle in straight in when you finish, pull it out and it reseals. We've got AdBlue technology and a two signs to remind you it's diesel. Uh, we've got locking on the door handle so you can lock using this button. And if the key's in your pocket, as long as the key's there, it will recognize you're allowed to open the car. Steering wheel controls. We've got the advanced cruise control is activated via the steering wheel. Uh, we've got a huge speedometer. Um, it also tells you if you're over speeding in the car. I've just reset it from five miles an hour over to 10 miles an hour over. Uh, so it just recognizes what road you're on and it'll tell you if you go over the speed limit, which is very handy. So mileage is 57,554. So five years worth of mileage. As your cruise control and the bottom three are the active cruise control. Uh, so once you've activated the cruise control with set, uh, you then push active cruise control and then you can tell the system how far from the car ahead you want to stay behind and it will monitor it and if necessary brake for you. It's also got emergency braking if you get too close to anything. Uh, voice control and there as you can see, Bluetooth. Uh, we've got colour navigation. Let's go to the view map. And we're in Slough Lane, which is correct. And let's just show you that we are also in England. There you go. We're in England. So down here, we've got climate control, sport function. Uh, another thing that I love on these is the vented seats. They activate very quickly compared to heated seats, which take a while to come on. You've got the uh, modes there for off-road. We're in auto at the moment. Uh, sunroof controls up the top here. Let's pull the bonnet. And the tailgate, the button for the tailgate is in the middle there. So privacy glass from B-post and backwards. Keeps it cool in the car. No rear blind, not sure you need one really when you've got um, privacy glass, because that was the whole idea of a blind to try and make your goods more private. So we've set a number of plates to go on. Spare wheel, full size, with what looks like to be a new tire. You've got subwoofer in the boot here as well. And electric tailgate, so push that button there and then start leaping, get out of the way before it knocks you on the head. Uh, there's the Summit badge. Let's take a look at the engine. You can hear it's got one because it's, uh, it's a diesel. So, Euro 6 technology. Nice mechanical engineered sound coming out the engine. Plenty of power to tow with this vehicle. Very impressive. We've got LED driving lights, daytime driving lights, and we've got the Xenon headlamps. So nice and bright. 
So quick recap. This one is a UK supplied right hand drive 2016 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Top of the range summit model with a three litre CRD, eight speed automatic ZF gearbox, German. Um, this one's on 57,000 miles, recently serviced, long MOT till next June 24. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.